Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, another update has come out in the FBG Duck case, and I'm realizing that a lot of the updates that are now coming out are mainly of things that we already know about this case. But what's happening is now witnesses and cooperators are taking a stand in efforts to just confirm everything the prosecutors have accused the O Block 5 of to further convince the jury and prove their accusations against the members. Which is why I always tell y'all, when it comes to the law, it's not about what they know. They can know what you did. They can know that you committed a crime 100%. But a conviction is only based upon what they can prove in the court of law. Which is why you have the court process of hearings, trials, motions, etc., and etc. The greatest example of this is the O.J. Simpson case. If you're old enough to remember that situation, then you know exactly what I'm referring to. Which is why when a certain YouTuber was recently called out for snitching or cooperating, he says all he did was identify these guys to be a part of gangs because the whole world already knows. The problem is, it's not about what the law enforcement knows. It's all about what they can prove. So by you offering information against certain individuals, proving their involvement with certain gangs, you're now helping them in their process against those individuals, proving their involvement. But that's another story. Back to THF TZ and to Carlos Orford, AKA Los Mana, and their baby mothers appearing in court. Now, as of yesterday, December 13th, 2023, both of these guys' baby mothers testified against them, and it's not looking too good. Tiffany Huff, who was the baby mother of Takalos Orford, took the stand despite wanting to, but she still ended up confirming damaging details about Los Mana that strengthened the prosecutor's case. Same goes for Ralph Turpin, aka THF TZ. The Tisha House, who was the child's mother of TZ's 12-year-old daughter, would take the stand and further confirm all the evidence against TZ and even go into detail about TZ's hatred towards FBG Duck, which led him to be the foundation behind what happened to the Chicago rapper. Now, yesterday we covered a video in regards to TZ and the O-Block members, expressing how TZ lied to the O-Block members in order to get them to do what they allegedly did to FBG Duck. The security guard who snapped the infamous picture of TZ standing inside the store, looking out of the glass to monitor Duck's movement, would take the stand. The security guard would point out the surveillance video that caught the audio of TZ calling the O-Block members to get them up to the Gold Coast, and from what the audio tells us, he completely lied as to what his original motive was to have something done to FBG Duck. According to court goers who was present at the trial, TZ would tell the O-Block members that Duck tried to chase him and one of his affiliates with a firearm, and they had to get away by running into a store and locking themselves in there while he heard FBG Duck saying he was going to shop wait for them to return to their car to proceed trying to catch them. However, that whole scenario was 100% false and never even happened. We will learn that TZ had a problem with Duck for dating his baby mother, and as Get Back, he lied to O-Block members in efforts to have something done to Duck when he seen him in the Gold Coast, opposing to him just doing something himself when he seen Duck. It was TZ along with another individual, and Duck was only present with a female. So I can't see how Duck was much of a threat while he was casually shopping with a woman for an outfit he wanted to purchase for his son's birthday that was coming up. Sadly, although the RICO case against Oblock would be based around years of war between the two opposite parties, in reality, Duck really lost his life over a woman that had a jealous baby father envying him over a woman that he was no longer involved with. And I swear y'all, out of anything in this world, that has to be one of the worst things to leave this world over. 
whether it's a man or woman, it's way too much men and women out here to be killing over just one. I'd rather lose my life over anything else, just not that. I can't even imagine how Duck's family feel or even the suspects feel thinking they were coming to protect their boy, but the whole time they got themselves in a federal situation because their boy was in his feelings, setting them up for failure. Now, as far as Duck family, imagine how they feel losing a loved one who was just starting to thrive in their career and been through so much only to lose his life over a coward that was in his feelings over another woman that no longer even wanted. Now, Detisha House would take the stand and let the courts know that the day Duck passed away on August 4th, 2020, she received a weird subliminal text message at that time that she paid no mind to from her child's father. She said that it was a random text message of three laughing emojis, but she had little to no contact with Turpin being that they weren't together and there was no need for him to contact her because their daughter had her own cell phone. She didn't put two and two together until finding out that Duck had passed away that's when she would testify back in June of 2021 in front of a grand jury that she tied the text messages of emojis to Duck's death as Turpin's way of taunting her, knowing how much she loved Duck. During the grand jury testimony, she would say, quote, I think Turpin was being evil and just laughing at me because he knew how much I loved Duck and he knew that I was hurt and we're not friends anymore. Investigators will learn that 34-year-old Turpin was sending emojis literally minutes after watching Duck get gunned down. The teacher would testify that before the shooting took place, Teezy would scold her for allowing Duck to be around their daughter and call her bogus for it. During the call, according to the teacher, Teezy would say something cryptic that at the time she wouldn't understand when he would say, quote, it's over with now though, pretty much indicating that Duck's demise was soon there. And unfortunately, we later learned that Duck would succumb to his injury. Now, according to reports, prosecutors have two more people who are very close to TZ that's willing to take the stand next and confirm TZ's hate for Duck due to his relationship with Detisha that TZ no longer had. It's safe to say that Turpin's lawyer is going to have to work over, over, over time trying to convince the judge to just be lenient in his sentencing because judging from reports, all of this stemmed from TZ and his jealousy. Had he not made a call, these guys wouldn't be in this situation today. But he let his pride and ego get the best of him, thus putting others down in the process of his own jealousy. Now, alongside of the teacher was another suspect's baby mother that was willing to testify against her child's father. In this case, we will have Tiffany Huff to Carlos Alford, aka Los Mundas' baby mother, who, unlike the teacher, was unwilling to cooperate, making it known that she didn't want to be there the whole time. Tiffany Huff is the same one that had to be warranted to report to court as Judge Picot filed a material witness warrant for her in order to show up. Tiffany would get on the stand and tell Assistant U.S. Attorney Jason Julian, quote, you forced me to be here and you threatened me with jail time through my attorney. And quick fact here, y'all, before we proceed, of course they did. Why? Because that's their job. Oftentimes, people think they can offer information to law enforcement and then take it back whenever they feel they want to, but that's not the case. That's not how that goes. Most time, the information you offer is included into an investigation, and their job is to convict the defendant based off the statement that you gave to the police. So when you try to renege, you're pretty much messing with the credibility of the court's accusations, and they're not going to jeopardize their whole case for you. Therefore, you either speak up and take the stand, or they take you to jail. Simple. But anyway, after getting past the melee, Tiffany would testify that she drove to a suburban car dealership shortly after the shooter in the Gold Coast to pick up Orford, Smart, who was Muwap, and another suspect who took his own life, who we know to be Zell Munna, allegedly. She would specify that Orford returned to Ford Fusion, similar to the one we seen going and coming from the crime scene, as it'll be one of the two getaway cars that was used in the shooter. She also identified Orford, aka Los Munna, Smart, aka Muwap, and the other man from the surveillance footage taken from Parkway Gardens, aka O Block. As of right now, that's been it for that proceeding on Wednesday, and another update should be issued after Thursday's proceedings come to an end later. But here's the crazy part out of all this, y'all. It's ironic how much cooperators are within this case. Mama Duck did tell us a long time ago that there was a lot of cooperators in this case, and it seemed like they just coming out the woodworks even from people we didn't even know was involved in this case. 
not to mention baby mothers, <laughs> right? All I could think about is the kids, man, that have to suffer in the middle of all this. Not only would they possibly grow up without a father, but just the circumstance of their mothers taking a stand against their fathers. Like, how do you explain that to them when they get older? You know, it, it's crazy, man. It's just going to be a broken home for the rest of their lives. Because I'm sure no man is going to return back to that or vice versa. Like, who wants to be caught up in that? It'll just be weird. But it just is what it is, man. Y'all know I always got a lesson for y'all. And honestly, it's as simple as this. Watch the company you keep. THFTZ seemed to be the mastermind behind this whole ordeal. But to hear that he lied on top of being the reason these guys even came to the Gold Coast is crazy but like i explained to you in the last video you have two types of friends that one friend that's going to always invite you into some bs and encourage you to crash out then you have that one friend that knows better than to invite you to crash out like that for the sake of their emotions these guys had kids you know but shame on them for not taking that into consideration themselves so let's see what comes out of this as more updates and news comes out about this trial i'll keep you guys updated and informed as of right now, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.